and that was the Husker Du Vols and the Heifer Polka, yeah. And you heard them right here on KBRN Radio, your music source for chore time favorites. And now, once again, it is the time for the nationally syndicated Farm News Report with your host, Yo McDonald. And be sure to tune in later for the results of the local cow tipping and the live chicken toss competitions. Four, two, two, one. Well, we ain't got time to be listening to the radio all day. We gotta get to work here. Although that is an interesting, I, I do like listening to that that show. Sometimes they got a uh, pretty good uh, reports that Joe McDonald or whatever. But uh, yeah, we gotta go to work. Um, let's see. Um, I did some figuring. Uh, what do I want to be here? I'm thinking all that grass we cut the other day, I think I'm going to turn all of it into hay because I want to make dang sure that I make it through the winter and the cows have something to eat. So I'm going to uh, make all the rest of this hay and get the hay mow full and then maybe I'll uh, cut some more of this grass over here and maybe I'll fill the silo with that. So. I am going to go back to work on making some hay. So I need my fluffer and I'm gonna get all this picked up. But I'm gonna do all this off camera. This is just repetitive work. No point in you watching me do all this. So I'm gonna be at it for quite a while but that's the plan. I'm gonna fluff this, bale, uh, rake it and bale it and get it all in the hay mow and then we should, this should be enough to get us through the winter so see you after a while Whew. that took a little while to do we got it all raked up nice and pretty fluffed and raked um, I guess I should be, pay be paying attention to the weather forecast a little bit I just happened to notice that now I see where the little sunshine is I see a little rain cloud there but uh, I think we're safe until let's see weather forecast. Yeah, it ain't gonna rain until let's see one, two, three, four, five o'clock tonight. They're talking rain, so I think we can get this filled up by then. So the work continues. It takes a little longer to do all this with this little single rake, but we got her done. Now it's just the bailing. Ah. Nothing like a nice clean hay field. Yeah, it took a little while to bale all that. I'm still debating on uh See if we get that last bale out of there. There we go. I keep trying to do some numbers, but I can't get an exact answer on how much hay is going to be consumed this winter. Um, I keep thinking I should just bale everything to hay because you can always sell the hay later if I got extra. Um, I gotta go see how much hay I have in the barn. I'm gonna try to do a, a rough guesstimate, but yeah, I've been searching on the internet and I just can't get no straight answers on how much feed is consumed. But uh, we'll get this last load unloaded here. Okay, let's see here. Right now... Okay, I have a little over 200,000 liters of hay. So... And if I look at the... Look at the barn here. 
I fed about 60,000. And when I was playing with this barn uh, a little bit earlier, you had to refill about every two days. So I just did a rough estimate. Let's just say they eat 30,000 a month, because that's, that's what I got the game set at, is a day is a month. Figure 30,000 per month. And the earliest I can get corn is next October. So that's 14 months. So I took 14 months times 30,000. And I come up with 420,000 liters. So to be on the absolute safe side, I need double the hay I got to make it through the winter until next fall. Because that's the soonest I can start making TMR. And I know we'll have more grass growing next summer to fill the silo. So I'm thinking to be on the safe side, I'm not sure how much hay can be stored in this barn. If I had to guess, maybe 500,000, maybe. I know the silos fo uh, hold 420 or 450,000. So I'm thinking, as long as I'm on the roll, I think I am just going to cut all the rest of this grass or cut every little piece of grass I can find on my property and I'm gonna make some hay and when the hay mow is full I guess I'll just sell it what is hay selling for anyway I know prices drop a lot when you're on the hard mode Let's see hay well it's not the worst and price increases as we go into the winter months so yeah, I think for now it's going to take some time, but uh, I think I'm just going to keep making hay. So uh, I'll, I'll I'll skip around all that beans. You whoa, jeez, jeez, I definitely need a power washer and a power washer soon. Um, but yeah, uh, beans, you already seen me make hay, cut hay, all that stuff. I'm going to skip around all that. So I'm going to cut every piece of grass I can find on this map. Make a whole crap load of hay. Fill the hay mow as full as I can. And if I still have hay left over, even after it's full, I'll just sell it and I'll make a little money. So, yeah, that's my plan. So, I guess I'll do all that and go from there. Oh, there is one more thing I forgot to mention. Um... I learned something else too. When you have this full of hay, you can't feed TMR. Or if this is like half full, then you can only fill this like half full. Uh, basically, they, they add all this together. But the cows will eat TMR first then hay, then grass in that order. So if you got TMR, the hay meter will never go down. So another thing I gotta remember to do when it gets close to next fall and I'm about ready to switch over to TMR, I gotta make sure I let them eat almost all the hay before I before I fill this. So that's another thing I've been reading and I, I'm learning about. So. So that's the plan. Feed hay until next fall until I can chop some corn and get some total mixed rations going. So, wow, that's taken a while for this. This should start climbing up. I don't know what's taking it so long, but... So, alrighty, back to making hay. Ooh, boy, that was close. <laughs> but I, I got it all. Uh, I had about maybe about uh, about a half a load here that maybe got a little bit wet. Uh, in real life, you'd never want to put wet hay in a haymo. Uh, I'm surprised the game even let me continue to bale hay. Yeah, for about the it started raining right just a little after 5 p.m. here, and uh, it's like, man, I gotta get that hay just before it rains, and I did. I got uh, I got every last little bit of hay here let's see I want to get get a map here yeah I cut come on 
load already there we go yeah I cut every little piece of grass I could find I cut almost my whole property uh, the only part I didn't cut was this little bit down here but I didn't feel like trying to mow around these big rocks and stuff so I just left that little bit let's see how much grass oh another advantage to this rain uh, yeah the rain naturally washes your equipment off so uh, I won't have to bother I'll just leave this stuff sit out I won't have to power wash this I let it sit in the rain long enough should wash it off it def the stuff definitely needs a wash that's for sure I already got the baler pretty clean anyway let's get let's go see exactly how much hay we have here oh boy we got one hell of a storm Ooh -wee. it is a pounding ah wrong button oh wow yeah that'll uh i think i think we're safe i think we're gonna make her through the winter with that uh, according to my calculations i need a little over four hundred twenty thousand. we got five hundred thousand. so that's that's awesome that is great so the cows should have plenty of food for the winter uh yeah the the funds are really dropping too. Uh, I didn't take uh, other than the hundred, the first hundred thousand dollar loan I took out to start the game. I haven't borrowed any more money yet, so um, I'm gonna try to squeeze by on as little as I can through the winter. I got enough to feed the cows, no problem there. There isn't much I can really do until uh, spring, so yeah, I might just have to go to my little tiny shack and hibernate through most of the winter um, let me do some thinking here if there's anything else I can possibly do I don't really think there is I cut all the grass I can do oh I know what I could do I could map out uh, I could get a plow and start mapping out what I want for fields I know I want a, a small grass field I'm thinking I'm gonna turn this long narrow stretch oh here I'm gonna plant this whole area to grass planted grass you get a little more yield that way I already got a partial field here um, but if I extend this make this all one long grass field here I also need to make a pretty decent size cornfield I'm thinking maybe something like around here maybe for corn and then uh, Maybe another field for soybeans. Soybeans, uh, soybeans, a good thing I'd like to plant. Oh, oats. I either got to plant oats or wheat. You know what? I never planted wheat in my area. It was always oats, soybeans, corn. Uh, what other crops can we plant? Uh, I did have some neighbors plant plant barley every now and then, but uh, not too often. But yeah, there was never any wheat up here in Wisconsin. At least none in my area. Uh, never planted canola. Like I say, a lot of oats. Definitely a lot of corn. Uh, seems like every farmer up here planted lots and lots of corn. Uh, soybeans was pretty big. Everything else, uh, no, we really didn't plant much else up, up around here. Uh, let's look at prices of stuff. Let's see, wheat, barley. Oh yeah, oats is definitely higher than... Yeah, so I definitely want to plant oats to get the straw. I think them that's the only three crops you can get straw out of. So I think I'm going to plant the oats for the straw. And obviously sell the oats for money. That'll give me straw for the barn. Uh, corn, got to have that for... Well, I'm not going to sell any corn. That'll be mostly for feed. Chopping for feed. And soybeans. Oh, look at soybeans. Oh wow, soybeans. That's a pretty high... Oh wow, you can get up to... Yeah, I think those are going to be our three main crops. Soybeans, corn, and oats. So I need uh, I need to plan out at least three nice fields. I'm thinking one field will go here. About maybe up to here. Maybe make that uh, soybeans. And maybe plant this long center strip here. Make that corn. And then maybe up here make another field for oats. That should be alright. What do you think? Yeah. Field here. 
make three fields, kind of divide them up. Oats, I don't need a, a very big field, so maybe I'll make it kind of a long, narrow one here for the oats, and then a fairly big one for corn, and a bigger and a, a fairly big one. Yeah, that's the plan. So this will this will be grass here, and then another long, narrow strip that'll be for the oats. This center piece here, I'm thinking corn, and then down here, soybeans. So, yeah, let me go see what it costs to get a plow. Um, yeah, what do we got for plows here? I thought I downloaded a a mod for making nice. Yeah, there we go. This 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 really doesn't fit what we're doing. Oh, I do see a problem though. My tractor is not going to be able to pull that. Oh boy. Um, what about that? I thought I downloaded a disc. What about this? Ooh. Yeah, I definitely can pull that. And I think with the cultivator mod, I think... But boy, look how narrow that is. Boy, that's going to take a while to make a field with that. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, do we have something in between that? Um, let me do a little thinking and research off camera. There's got to be something in between that and that. I suppose I could go with the regular standard realistic plow. Well, the problem with using one of them in the game is it's it's hard to get nice square even fields with that. Um, so yeah, let me let me do some thinking and figuring here off camera. But either way, I'm definitely going to get some get some fields in or at least get the borders figured out. So I'll be back with you in a bit. raining <laughs> hello Amanda I know it's a little bit dirty but the rain will wash it off I promise it, it's all good it's all good uh, I want to return it okay what do you got for cultivators well after doing a little looking believe it or not uh, in the stock game I found this it'll it needs 180 horsepower it's not too bad. I'd like to see something with six or seven meters, but five meters ain't bad. I think I can make some fields with that. So yeah, and it looks like something that we had back in the day. So that'll make some fields. I think I'm going to lease it. Yes. Okay, and then uh, let's return. Let's see. I don't think I need any of this stuff anymore. Can't mow grass anymore. We're definitely done making hay. I was kind of holding on to the the stump grinder in case I bumped into a stump. And you know what? I think I still might hold on to it for just a little bit longer because there's always that one annoying little stump that uh, I do have the the uh, lumberjack mod for the chainsaw, but some of the stumps that are really low to the ground, that mod does not work. So. Just, just holding on to it just in case. I think I'll return it after I get uh, these fields, the rest of these fields plowed up. So there. Thank you again, Amanda, for your business. I'm going to go make some fields. Not well. I don't know if I want to do this in the rain, though. It's a good way to get stuck. <laughs> I might do that. I, I might head home, call it a day, go to bed, and get up nice and fresh early tomorrow morning, and uh, then I'll get my fields planned out. I'm pretty sure this tractor was 180 horsepower. Let me double check that, make sure I'm not. Let's see. Oh yeah. So we're we're. We're pushing that old girl right to the limit, but she should handle it. She might struggle a little bit on some hills, but I think she'll get the job done. Yeah, that's that's pretty wide. That'll that'll get some fields made, I think. So, all right, I think I got I think I got a plan. 
Okay, yeah, and an another tip. Uh, this is why I did what I did. When I cut all the grass, I used the hay bind and I cut right to the maximum edge edges of my field. Now when you create fields and make your own fields, uh, you want to leave a little bit of a gap here. You see where I'm, about where I'm, I'm thinking about starting? And just to the left of me, I'm leaving, oh, I don't know, at least a four or five meter gap. Uh, if you don't do that, when you're like trying to harvest your crops and stuff, sometimes you, you can't harvest them or it's stuck on the edge. So when you create fields, you want to stay away from your border just a little bit. Give a little a little wiggle room. So that's the plan there. I see the the stock game. They did put this one right on the edge, which I don't care for. But this is going to be planted in all grass, so that shouldn't be the issue. So I think I will plant grass right to the edge of this field. That should be fine because grass is just going to regrow. And if I can't cut a little bit of the edge, it don't matter. It's all going to match. But yeah, the rest of these fields, you, you want to stay away from the edge just a little bit. It gives you a little, you know, just a little wiggle room if you if you need it. So I am gonna. I don't know if I'll get them all plowed today, but I at least want to do a rough border, get about where I think I want to be, and yeah, I'm gonna use GPS to do that so I can keep everything nice and straight and and organized. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make some uh, fields here. Say goodbye to where Fred's poopy shack used to sit. Say goodbye to the brush. We're plowing it all under. Yeah, this is where the, the, the shack used to sit. Fred's old shack. I love fresh plowed fields. Let's see, I could do a quick update on what we're doing here. I think I got everything laid out. Uh, this area here is going to be all grass. This field here is going to be where we plant our oats. This is my new corn field. And this is where soybeans are going to be. So I think I got things laid out pretty nice. It it took a while to figure out how I was going to go around these stupid big rocks. So it's hard to have perfectly square fields, but I think I got things laid out pretty nice. So, yeah, and uh, this uh, airy grass area here, I can uh, plant that already this fall. So, yeah, I think I'm going to get a, a small planter and at least get the grass in the ground. The other crops... Uh, corn, oats, and soybeans, those I can't do until at least March or April. Uh, oats I can plant pretty early, but I'm thinking I'm going to plant everything in April. Then we can harvest it all at the same time, so I think we got a good game plan going. Anyway, back to what I was doing. I got a lot of plowing to do. I might finish up plowing this little bit and then I think I might call it a, a day or a month in this game and uh, I'm getting sick of doing this in the rain <laughs> so I might go to sleep and wake up in September and finish off the plowing and the planting so I'll see you then Whew. I got a lot of plowing to do He's just getting rid of this brush. Uh, no, I just I just realized something. Um, I can't quit. I already leased this equipment, so I'd either have to return it and then release it again, or if I keep it, I get charged by the hour for leasing. So if I sleep for 12 hours, I'm going to get charged for all them hours of leasing it. So I gotta finish plowing tonight. And if it gets dark, it's no big deal. I got headlights. And I even downloaded a mod, so I got super bright LED lights. <laughs> so, yeah, not a problem. So, if I gotta plow into the dark, so be it. 
So, yeah, I'm going to be at this for a while. So, uh, I'll come back when I get this all done and maybe by then I can go to sleep and tomorrow morning it'll stop raining and I, we can plant some grass. Let's see, uh, another issue that we're going to have to contend with that I forgot we don't have in Farming Simulator 19, but we do have it in 2022. See these little itty bitty rocks? I forgot we have rocks in this one now. Uh, the good thing is, I did a little more research, small rocks, uh, you can just roll them in. You can buy a big roller and just smash them in the ground so we don't have to worry about picking rock thank god um, I also got a spread lime all that good stuff I want to make sure I get the best yield I can possibly get so I'm getting there I got half the fields I got two done and two more to go I got these two to do yet so yeah uh, one thing money a lot of you are probably thinking is uh, why are you doing this why are you making it so hard for yourself? You know, why Why don't you just uh, do this and make some more money doing that? My challenge is I want to see if I can make a living just off dairy farming. I know I did cheat a little bit at the beginning by logging, but you got to start somewhere. Plus, I had to clear the fields. So, um, if I'm really, really pressed hard, you know, uh, where... The loan is just getting, I'm getting too in debt. Um, I could just buy field 22, or it's not a field, but buy section 22. And this is just filled with tons and tons of big trees. And I guarantee if I log this all off, I could probably make a million dollars or more easy. So, I mean, it, you know, if it's a worst case scenario, I could do a bunch of logging. But I just want to see. If I can make a living dairy farming only off this little 40 acre chunk, or maybe I'll expand it to to 60 or possibly 80 acres later, we'll, we'll just see. We'll just see where this goes. Challenge myself. You know, and some people are like, well, how can you stand to just do this repetitive thing over and over? You know, well, I guess you could say the same thing about my mother. She'll sit down and do these silly crossword puzzles for hours, you know. And to me, I can't do anything like that, or or put together uh, a picture puzzle, you know, or people will play Sudoku. I don't get that. That's just like, what's the point in doing that? But something like this. And the nice thing about this game, you don't have to play it the way I'm playing it. I'm playing it this way because I want to. If you want to play it with the big tractors and download some mods to cheat I mean you can get equipment that's like not even real in real life at all I mean you can get equipment that's like hundreds of meters wide and you can plow a field in one swipe with a big tractor you know I mean there's just there's so many options in this game it's not even funny I mean there's tons of mods and uh, I mean there's uh, I was gonna show you this too I mean uh, I mean, you can go into the game settings and, and set it however you want it. I mean, you can turn seasons off. You can change how many days in a month. Um, if you don't want to worry about driving over your crops, you can turn that on or off. Like even here, I'm not a fan of plowing. I hate plowing. Plowing is just a pain in the butt. So this feature I did leave off. And I could do the same with the rocks and lime too. I could even turn the weeds off. I can turn all that. I wouldn't have to deal with any of that. But I'm trying to keep, you know, I, I guess I just set myself some own, my own rules and I just want to see if I can do it this way. So, yeah, lots of options. I mean, you can, you can play this game however you want, you know. And some say, well, why are you using GPS? There is no GPS on these older tractors. You're right. I could play it without the GPS, but it would just take me a heck of a lot longer. And I do have a little bit of... I don't know what you call it, OCD, uh, you know, I, I like to keep things straight and proportionate, you know what I mean, it's just, you know, like right now, I'm not touching the keyboard at all, I got the tractor on cruise control and I'm letting, letting the 
the computer do the work right now, but I mean, if I have to if I have to sit here and keep pressing A D A D A D, trying to keep it straight, you know, my fingers are going to get tired after a while. And I could hook up my I do have a, a what do you call it a wheel for like racing games. I, I could hook up my driving wheel, but uh, in my office slash bedroom here, I don't have a whole lot of room. If I set that up then I don't have a place to put my keyboard or at least my keyboard's off to the side and it's it's just awkward so I don't know you play it however you want to play it you play it your way I'm gonna play it my way if you're if you enjoy watching me play great if not then don't watch it I don't care <laughs> so yeah I mean it's just tomato tomato you know whatever so that that's the great thing about gaming and you know, everybody's got their own way of doing things. So, there. I'll get off my soapbox now and continue my plowing. Hopefully get this plowing done and I can uh, return it. Uh, go to bed. And hopefully come and wake up in the morning and this rain will be done. Because I'm getting sick of plowing in this rain. But, they like say, I, I already rented the equipment. So, I got to get this done. Well, I wouldn't have to. I mean, I could cheat. So, but, eh. I'm going to do it anyway, what the heck, so, yeah. Ah! Oh, yeah? I knew it. You always miss one somewhere. <laughs> That's what the chainsaw's for. There, gone. I was wondering when I was going to come across one of them. I always miss one somewhere. <sighs> Good morning. Ah, September already. Hmm. Time sure flies when you're having fun. Whoa, hell on here. We got to get this. There we go. I had my player speed set a little too fast there. Okay. Ah, yes, the rain finally stopped. Hmm. Rain didn't wash the tractor off very nice, though. <coughs> Who did it? Hmm. Excuse me. I was hoping the rain would wash the tractor off a little better than that. Well, anyway, let's get the drone up in the air. And I'll show you what I got done yesterday. We Yes, let's see. Let's increase the flight speed a little faster. Let's go a little higher. Let's see how high we can go with this baby. I think that looks pretty sharp. We got our grass field. I did a little landscaping. I do believe we got some nice fields here. This is going to be very nice. Um, the next step, while I still can, I am going to get a planter and at least get this seeded with grass so we got a nice grass hay field for next spring. Uh, the rest of the planting is going to have to wait until April and we're going to have to live on peanut butter and bologna until uh, my cows get old enough to make some milk. Uh, speaking of which, I should check on them, see what's going on here. Let's get out of flight mode here. There we go. Hey! Whoa, what the heck was that? Can we get on standard speed, please? Thank you. Sheesh. <laughs> How are the Mumu cows doing? quiet in here. Oh, there's a couple moves. How are we doing? Oh, yes, productivity is doing very good. Uh, they didn't eat as much hay as I thought they was gonna. Hmm. That That's okay, though, because uh, that uh, 500,000 liters of hay in the hay mount, it's, it's, it's nice that it's there if I ever need it. And I can always... Uh, stick our auger in here and uh, 
let's take a trailer here and, and sell it if I must, but I, I don't mind having that extra hay up in the hay mall. Like, say if something goes wrong or my plans don't work out for the for the TMR, they, 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 they won't die. So we got plenty of hay. So I think I am going to leave leave off here. We'll save the planting and winter struggle for the next episode because I think this is getting plenty long enough already. So until next time, let's let's get another air, aerial shot of the farm. I just I, I, I like that. That looks that looks pretty sharp from up here. Increase the speed a little bit here. Yeah, that is that is pretty impressive compared to if you go back to episode one and two. We basically had nothing but a, a crap shack and a and an old outhouse and an old rotten shed falling down and a bunch of trees and brush. Uh, we we accomplished a lot. I mean, this is this is looking pretty sharp, and it'll look even better with some crops in the ground. So I'm quite proud of what what I did so far. It's looking it's looking pretty nice. So until next time, yeah, we'll just leave that. We to use that for the screenshot. <laughs> until next time, I'll well, we'll see you later. Bye for now.